Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. Hidden storage compartment. That's cool. There's lots of little hidden yeah, storage isn't that cool? compartments in here. It's right a good place now. for your uh, freedom sticks. Yeah. You got this here lifts up as Whoa. well. More storage there. More room. Bigger freedom sticks. All right. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Hank Strange, guys. This, of course, is Hank Strange, and it might look a little bit stranger than usual to you. Man, there's going to be a lot of puns in this one. However, this video is going to be a little bit about my van that you see behind me here because I've come to realize that there are people out there asking this question. Am I out of the game? Is Hank Strange still in the game? Is he still fighting for the Second Amendment? And we're gonna get all into that. Like, what's up with the channel? What's up with this van life thing that we're doing? All of that we're gonna get into right now. Lola is gonna be joining me, and we're gonna bring you guys up to date. So, channel update coming right at ya. All right, so firstly, for the YouTube overlords that are watching this video right now, uh, and for, for you guys who are out there looking at this, I'm not actually going to get into any firearms in this video. I want to explain to you guys what's going on with the channel. So just be patient. There's a lot of other stuff here on the channel that you could look at if you haven't looked at this in a while, if you're just joining us now and you've been wondering what we've been up to. Now, I'm going to have notes. Lola's on the camera. I'm going to have notes so that I keep this uh, short and sweet because we have a whole bunch of stuff going on. and whatever I, I, it's gonna take time if i even have to explain it to you and lola will have to do a lot of eye rolling like she's doing right now are we still making videos right are we still advocates for the second amendment etc so let's get into let's answer that question right now of course <laughs> i think that at least once a week if not more than that we're putting videos up here on the channel if you don't believe me just go into the videos tab and then look and see like when did those videos go up uh, most recently, I've put up stuff with uh, Bushmaster has uh, some suppressors that they put out, and there's a video up on the channel of that. And then after that, I did a bunch of stuff at the gathering, which was put on by PSA. That's where I got this hat from. So there were quite a few videos that came out from that, and we were also um, there was also a snippet that went up from the podcast where we were talking about uh, constitutional carry in Florida. We've been advocating for that, of course, a lot lately. If that answers your question, just look around the channel here. We're still doing that. On top of putting videos here on the channel, we're still doing the podcast. As a matter of fact, the Who Moved My Freedom podcast is approaching 900 episodes. So we're going to probably get there. What do you think, Lola? I think, uh, what are we like? Maybe 20 something away? I think we're like 887. Okay. So yeah. So 887. So. Yeah, that's like three, you know, like 13 then. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 13 videos away from 900 episodes of the Who Moved My Freedom podcast. Now, that's on a separate YouTube channel, right? That's uh, Who Moved My Freedom. That's the name of that channel. And you can find everything over there. Now, we don't go live from Who Moved My Freedom anymore on YouTube because YouTube made completely new rules. <laughs> um, we're not allowed, allowed to touch guns firearms while we're live so we kind of dealt with that for a while but you know it's all part of what i want to talk to you guys about the suppression not just here on youtube slash hank strange but over on youtube slash who moved my freedom you know we got a lot of attention from youtube we've been getting that for years and that really led to them suppressing our channel right so over there they told us we can't touch anything and they actually had people looking at us so even there's times when they've deleted videos because we held up a stock, like an empty wood stock without a gun in it, and we try to show that, and then they deleted it, and we had to fight to get it back and all that stuff. But, but once you do that, once you get on their radar, and they start attaching red flags to what you're doing, then this is kind of like how we get into this situation where you guys are asking us if we're still making videos, right? So really the thing that we're doing if you want to see us, we're going live from Utreon. So that's 
basically Utreon is a platform very similar to YouTube and it's also a mix of Patreon and YouTube and if you go over there to that channel and search for Who Moved My Freedom or WMMF podcast then you'll find that we're going live over there and we're doing that uh, several times a week we really should be doing you know Monday all the way up to Friday a lot, there's just a lot of stuff going on that I'm juggling right now but several times a week we're actually doing the podcast the most popular ones on Monday today's actually Monday that I'm recording this so we'll be doing one tonight we wanted to talk about the YouTube suppression right Lola do you want to hear I'll yeah. let me let me switch out here and bring Lola in here for a second so mm -hmm. here's Lola that everyone asked for there, there you go she's here so um, talking about what's happening with YouTube right, right. so over the last couple of years um, We've gone through a lot of stuff on YouTube. I think, mm -hmm. I mean, when was it that they deleted the entire channel? I think I was about 60,000 subscribers at the time. Mm -hmm. And YouTube deleted the channel. They were at, it, it happened because of a couple of things. One, we were doing the podcast live from Hank Strange. Mm -hmm. And there was one of the videos that they didn't like. The subject of one of the podcasts they didn't like. So they deleted that, actually, I think, while we were on air. Yes. And mm -hmm. that gave us a strike. And then in the next couple of days, they actually started going after bullpups for some reason. Mm -hmm. And of course, I've got a ton of bull, or I had a ton of bullpup videos on the channel. And, um, you know, I woke up in the morning with someone calling me, uh, another content creator, and he was like, man, um, my bullpup videos are getting hit, so I'm pretty sure yeah. you're getting strikes. You check yours too. Yeah, by the time I checked it, I'd already got a ton of uh, strikes for several videos of there, and then of course they just deleted the whole right. channel. Right. That was years ago at this point, it right? Was. Maybe four years ago or something like that. Something like that. Time flies. <laughs> yeah, we fought. We got the channel back, but we're on their radar, right? Like they realize, okay, this is a gun guy, someone who's advocating for the Second Amendment, mm -hmm. etc. That's a crime, according to these people. They don't like the Constitution. Doesn't really mean anything um, to them, obviously, right? Not when it comes to the Second or even the First Amendment, because I'm d we're definitely not criminals, Lola and I. As a matter of fact, we're FFLs. You know, we got the channel back, and I built the channel up to, right now, it's very close to 120,000 subscribers. The problem is, we've gotten so many flags and so much attention mm -hmm. from YouTube, I think we wound up removing a ton of videos, we, right? We've removed hundreds of videos, mm -hmm. because every time you, you'd get a, a yellow coin, you know, there were different ways of different rules of thought as to how to deal with that. So mm. some is to take off monetization, some is to remove the videos. But I would say that what we do is remove a lot of videos. Yeah. And I think that that hurt somewhat because sometimes if a new video would only be on a channel for about a week, it would get that yellow coin, we'd remove it. So yeah. that kind of added to the, right. you know, the thought that, hey, we're not making yeah. videos. Uh, I mean, I think a lot of this, it's, it's very difficult. We don't have consultants or anything like that. We don't have any special contacts at YouTube, so it's very difficult to figure out exactly what to do. And for sure, I think that removing... Um, some of those videos all together from YouTube kind of hurt us and, and we were just we're just in the process like everyone else trying to figure out exactly what's going on here so the videos being demonetized is really not the only thing there's a couple of things that happens there though if they demonetize the video there's no reason for them to show anyone that video or promote it yeah mm -hmm. so if a, if a video is demonetized just imagine that YouTube like is not even telling people that that video exists and if they go through if you're waking up every day and we had i mean at that point we had over a thousand videos right and we still do right now if you look at the video count we're probably somewhere close to a thousand but this has been going on for years and we've removed hundreds of videos mm -hmm. so imagine you're waking up and there's like 50 videos that are demonetized mm -hmm. that that affects everything for your channel right so we just didn't really know what to do and we were also i think at the same time seeing that there were folks who were being completely deleted and i think that you know um it was it was kind of like my decision obviously lola and i do this but it was my decision that hey i f i feel like they're trying to get you to stack up all these coins and then go mm, there's no reason for your channel to even be here and right. delete it so i think yeah. we we were just trying to keep the channel alive really that's yeah, the thing that was much. going on mm -hmm. 
you'll see a lot of that now is catching up to people. There's people that had other strategies that worked for them and now it's not working for them. I'm not knocking anyone in what they're doing. This is like the wild, wild west. We're all out here trying to figure out how this works. Right. And it's really just um, insane. That's just to try to illustrate to you guys exactly what's happening. I mean, even with the podcast channel, when they decided that they were gonna not let people hold guns, they spoke to, I think, a couple of the really big creators, the guys right. that are, you know, maybe half a million to oh, several yeah. million. Mm -hmm. They spoke to those guys and then they spoke to me as well. I can't speak for the other guys or what they told them, but when they spoke to me, they literally had about three lawyers uh -huh. on my conversation. And, <laughs> you know, they said, you can't pick up a gun anymore while you're alive. And, and as a matter of fact, we'll be watching you. Yeah, they said, we're going to be watching you. And I was like, you, like there's going to be, a, the algorithm's going to watch me? Some kind of bot? No, a and physical person. A person. And we'll we saw that. We, we saw the evidence of that. Like, there Sorry. were people watching us. Any little thing that we would do, there was a time when someone accidentally, like, showed a, a gun on the thing. And I try to, like, I cut away from them and all that kind of stuff. It's too late. Someone was watching. And they were like, boom, gone. Yeah. <laughs> you know, video over. So... So it's I mean, what do you do? What do you do with that? It's, it's just yeah. Been challenging. Yeah. If the alg if you're if you're creating content, if you're not breaking any laws, if if as a matter of fact what you're doing is guaranteed by the Second Amendment, it's kind of frustrating. That's what Lola and I, uh, you know, have been going through, and I think that there's been there's been companies that have uh, stuck with us and. Um, helped us do what we're doing and supported us through everything and not looked at the numbers and all that right we right. still we still have those guys here like I said we're still putting up videos mm -hmm. and on every video I'm like completely transparent you know I'm, I'm putting on that like I'm showing you guys who sponsors us who who gives us money all of that so we appreciate those guys for sticking with us mm -hmm. but there's other companies that you know to be they're, they're just all about the numbers because we're talking about politics and all that and not just doing fun uh, fun crazy videos we we kind of got hit first and now I'm seeing that other people are getting hit and getting into to stuff and kind of like feeling our pain but a year ago we decided to do something about it right right so a, a year that's where this comes in go ahead yep. yeah so, go ahead Lola so fast forward to a year ago in the midst of COVID mm -hmm. um, we were renting an office space at yeah. that time yeah we've right. been i've been renting office space for for years now mm -hmm. you know we were doing that and we were traveling and trying to do stuff but it was all getting it's like really expensive to travel and get out and do all these events mm -hmm. and without support of like like i said if you don't have people really coming on board and helping with that it, it really becomes difficult so we decided to merge to merge a lot of things yeah. into one that's where the van comes comes into play. yeah because we also we traveled somewhere and it was like a nightmare flying and getting around and there's all kinds of threats you know like if you don't if you don't put this mask on you're banned for life you'll never yeah. fly again so i said you know what how about we do this how about we get a van so we can get in that van and go anywhere get a camper van i'd never well we've had a van before when we first started this channel we had a, like a, a conversion like van. a conversion van mm -hmm. but i've never had like a like this what this van is and i'll show you guys that here in a second but i was like let's get that that way we could travel around and go where we need to go in our own time and we're going to spend money regardless we might as well like why spend it on the airlines and they don't like us or you know on getting a hotel room and there's all these restrictions and stuff like that so we got we got the van for that reason and it's still my office i mean that's literally what this is this is my office slash studio just like that space was and i and i could show you guys that maybe we should get into that show everyone here real quick so there goes the van it is a uh, Ford Transit van for anyone who wants to know. It's called the Beyond because Coachman actually built up. Some some folks out there in the gun world, people who have been seeing around, you know, they've seen this. Oh, check that out. Look, there's my refrigerator. You can see all kinds of different stuff there. If, you're, uh, if your eyes are fast. Are you coming in, Lola? So this is the van. This is what it looks like. So up here. Right, this is regular Ford Transit van that you would see. I think uh, Amazon has these and FedEx and what are you doing? I don't want to drag all this dirt in here. Oh. Okay, well look, we're making a video, so <laughs> just forget about that. We gotta be expedient. All right, so anyway, up here, this is uh, up front. 
what it looks like normal van and all that kind of stuff I've got like a Jackery in there which is a big battery and um, I also have uh, I'll, I'll show you guys but I also have a ham radio setup in here a whole bunch of things in here and then in the back this is really like the living quarters so we've got a galley over here refrigerator drawers got a microwave there there's a stove under this thing right here it's a little messy right now but uh, there's a there's a burner a single burner under there we've got these two benches here that can be put together and make one big bed it's convenient for when I'm doing all this stuff because this is everything that I use to do the podcast. So for the folks watching the podcast, we do the podcast Monday to Friday, 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Eastern. It's on Utreon now, and then we later on we put the videos up on the YouTubes. But there's my camera that I use. There's computers in here. Here's like headsets that you guys will see me wearing and all the, the stuff that goes into making the video. Here's an extra monitor that I use. I sit over here with these lovely cushions this is my table look microphone <laughs> so that's it I mean there's lots of storage as you can see here as well in the van and then the bathroom is back here uh, yeah so here's the bathroom we've got cabinets and all that there's a toilet a sink all that kind of stuff here um, this goes down the road so things get jumbled and crazy back here but there you go just to show you guys so, you know, it's a van. Space is always a premium. I can show show the folks out there a few more things on this. I mean, honestly, if you want to see more on this van, you could go to Stranger Palooza on YouTube. We that's where, that's where all the van content is. Yeah, because of everything happening, I used to put car stuff, you know that. I used to go to oh, SEMA. I used to do cars, NAE, yeah. SEMA, watches. Yeah. Uh, military vehicles, like my friend Walter from Safety Harbor Firearms is into military vehicles. We put all that on Hank Strange. But when all of this started happening, even those videos that had nothing to do with guns would do really, really badly when in the past they did really well. Mm -hmm. So we, I separated all of that over to Stranger Palooza. That's what you see here on my shirt. And uh, so now we've got like, we're running three YouTube channels, Lola. And people think we're not doing anything. Three channels and an actual full podcast. That's yeah. not just a video on YouTube, but right. also an actual full podcast <laughs> yeah. that can be downloaded and listened. It's so busy for us that right now, Lola is actually a pharmacist. Right now, she's actually part-time as a pharmacist. Mm -hmm. The blackout curtain is falling right there. But, mm -hmm. but uh, it's going more. It's going more. So anyway, listen. So right now, Lola is actually working part-time as a pharmacist, part-time uh, helping me out with what we do here. It's just like I'm actually busier than ever, and I'm still doing this, as I said. What, what's in the notes? What's the next yeah, part of what we need to, to do? Notes. Yeah. That we you haven't given up, and the connection of van life to merged expenses, van life extension of the lifestyle. Okay, 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 okay. This is why, like everyone... If you want to know why Lola doesn't show up on the camera too much, this is the reason why Lola doesn't show up. So I'll let you, I'll let you take over the camera. Okay. So I think, I think basically you guys see what's, you know, what's going on here with us, right? Like we're, we we're really wrapping this all together. So when we went out to the gathering, we went with the van. There's a lot of places we go we go with the van. It makes it easier for us to go out there. We're getting ready to go see uh, Sam Andrews, Andrews Custom Leather. We're going to take this van. That allows us to, in instead of spending money on hotels, we're spending the money on the van. We're going to go there and get that content for you from lots of different places all around the country. I've been doing that for the last year. I've put about 30,000 miles on the van since last January. This is, this is what we're up to, and it's really enabling us to do all of this. I'm going to continue to do that. If you all want to see the van stuff that we're doing, it's actually taken off because YouTube is not suppressing that at this moment. Who knows what will happen <laughs> as time goes on here. But it's completely separated channel, and I don't put firearm stuff really on there. So if you want to see the van content, you can go over there. Here on this channel, I'm going to continue to do the gun stuff, go out and see companies, find new companies, and all that kind of stuff that I've been doing. So you guys will find that here. However, if you really, if you want to see it, you know, you're, you're going to kind of have to like seek us out, right, Lola? 
I agree. It's just the way that things are working right now. I don't think the algorithm cares who you're subscribed to. So we've still got 119,000 subscribers, but 119,000 people don't get notified when we put up a video. So I want to just tell everyone the best way to figure out all the stuff that I'm up to, if you care, is one, go on YouTube and search Hank Strange. And then the Hank Strange channel is going to come up. And you could look around the channel and look at the videos that are there. You could check that out. Now, we do have alternatives to everything. And if you want to know about all our alternatives, you can go to HankStrange.com. Lola and I have uh, completely gone over that site. We partnered up with 2A Commerce, and they helped build us a completely new site. So for my other fellow YouTubers out there, if you want to get your website game up, you can go to 2A Commerce, just like we did. And, and get something going. But you guys can go there, check that out. Lola works on it a lot. And there's a lot of links to all the different uh, platforms that we're on, right? So now it's not just YouTube, it's other social media that's suppressing us. I have a hard time even promoting the videos when I put them up on Facebook because it gets knocked down on Facebook, it gets knocked down on Twitter. I mean, you guys, have, you should have seen all of that by now that I've been saying has been happening for years. So go to hankstrange.com, best place to find to figure out how you can support us and where our other channels are and what the other things that we're up to if you want to see all of that. But really, if you don't want to do that, just look on YouTube and you're going to see the stuff that we're doing. So if you like the podcast, I mean, it's on YouTube. I just don't put it up live anymore. So if you want to see it after it's live, that's on YouTube slash who Moved My Freedom, you can go over there and you can see those episodes and then you'll see us handling guns because it's not live. If you want to join us while it's live, go to Utreon and you'll, you know, you'll be able to see us over there. Utreon, like I said earlier, does work like Patreon and YouTube, so you can actually subscribe to us and support us over there. There are still some people who support us on Patreon, and we appreciate those guys. It's kind of tough to keep up with all of this, but it's we've been able to do it because there are companies that support us. There are folks out there who care about us and support us in lots of different ways. I know not everyone believes that we haven't been doing things. There's like a core of people out there, right, Lola? They've moved over to Utreon with us. They've just like hung out with us they you know they share stuff that we're doing and all that and and i know that's tough for people to do because there's so many different content creators that you like that you really don't have the time to get into the game of doing it so i don't know am i missing out on anything lola did i cover everything uh, let's see i think so, so i hope so being prepared Okay. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. So that's that's really the last thing I wanted to talk to everyone about. Lola and I, like, we're doing this whole thing. We believe in the Second Amendment. We believe in uh, human beings' rights to defend themselves and that they have the right to... Let's, let's put it this way. The easiest way for me to put it, you have the right to defend yourself, right? And part of that is you have to be prepared for the things that could happen to you. And so we're going to continue to do the Second Amendment thing. We're going to continue to advocate for it around the country as well as right here in Florida. We're going to continue to work with companies and make videos and show people things and help folks out there. We're going to do everything that we've been doing. Part of that, though, the preparedness thing, especially living in a place like Florida, we have hurricanes and things like that that could shut a lot of stuff down. This is part, the van really is part of being prepared for that. This van has a generator that runs off of the, the gas tank, and it also has, we've got big batteries in here that, that we can use. So if we, if the house goes out of power, we have another generator, but we also have a generator on board here that we could plug into and power stuff in the house. But I can also keep working and doing things and even stay comfortable in here if stuff like that was happening. And we can also move. We can get into this and move around if we had to move around, right? Part of that whole thing of being prepared, we recently got, became hams. So Lola and myself, Lola, you can, here, let's, let's throw Lola on the camera for this. Lola Strange is a amateur ham operator. That's right. You got your technician's license, so did I. We did that in uh, Hamcation in Orlando. Hamcation, yeah, in Orlando, we became, we got the uh, technician's license. We're probably going to go ahead and do general at some point, but we've gotten into ham radio. Just, I think it's part of that whole being prepared thing, right? Well, this it's a huge, it's a huge um, asset to have when it comes to communication. Yes, yeah. 
it allows us to no matter what if the phones go down so like if you have a hurricane here and you lose power wherever you are in a few days you won't have phones that's right just for that reason alone we've gotten into it and here in florida with if you have a ham radio people you can actually communicate all the way from a few miles into georgia all the way down to the keys believe it or not mm -hmm. uh, if you guys want to see more stuff on that I, I won't get super in depth in this video into it but you know what i've been thinking that I'm going to start putting up videos on our um, ham radio journey here on this channel because I think that's related to everything. Like, there's more likely to be folks here that are into that, right? I agree. I think our audience is a little bit diversified. I mean, this is called Hank Strange, and it's basically about my lifestyle. And I think folks here do care about vehicles and stuff like that, but that's I'm separating that. However, I think that we we also are into ham radios and other things that are necessary if you want to live a prepared lifestyle, which is what Lola and I are attempting to do. Yeah. We're not experts. I've always just been sharing my journey with everyone. So. Well, and I think I think that's what Hank Strange has always been from day one. It's right. been about you've called it lifestyles of the locked and loaded, and that means a lot of different things. It's not just firearms. Mm -hmm. You know, you've, it's vehicles. It's it's traveling. It's yeah. being prepared. It's why There's we so do everything. Things. It's yeah. why we live in Florida. Yeah. So for a lot of people, I mean, we're both separated from our families because we're living in Florida, and you know, we've got obviously our kids. But Lola and I are living out here without our you know individual families that we grew up with and that's because we're trying to be prepared for things right we're living out in the boonies yeah <laughs> that allows us to have a range and do a whole bunch of stuff and save money and put that money towards a lot of these things so i'm gonna endeavor to share some of that stuff with you here we recently actually did a ham radio setup for the van it's kind of mobile. I could take it out of the van and put it into any other vehicle. Also put it in the house. I have like a, a antenna connected to the house, all kinds of cool stuff. Mm -hmm. And feel like we got a warm welcome from the ham radio world as well. Mm -hmm. And a lot of those guys, the circles cross. Like oh, absolutely. those folks are into yeah. the second amendment. <laughs> yes. I don't think I've met any ham radio person who's like, oh, I don't care about being yeah. able to defend. I th all those people, need, yeah. like just like us, understand why you have to be able to defend yourself. Mm -hmm. So I think this is the place to share that. I agree. And I'm going to put that up here. Hopefully that's okay with you guys. Hopefully you look at it. I think ultimately, if not Lola, I don't know if it matters, man, what's happening with the algorithm. I will keep putting videos on Hank Strange and let it burn down. I mean, it's kind of disappointing to me. I have a, a platinum, uh, not a platinum, I have a silver plaque, mm -hmm. right, for getting to 100,000 subscribers from YouTube at the same time that they're like suppressing me. Well, they've been suppressing you since you hit 100,000 because, you know, you gain 1,000, they take out and take down 1,000, you know. Yeah. So they I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to ride it till the wheels fall off. That's just the kind of person uh -huh. that I am. If you're ever out there wondering if I quit or if I give up, no. Nah. I'm not that kind of person, right? I just don't believe in it. I'll go, You, they'll have to take me out like kicking and scratching all and on the way out. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I'm too loud, obnoxious, uh, <laughs> and, and pig-headed for that. So I think, I think we could call it wraps on yeah, this because I know we have a lot of stuff right, going on. To wrap it up. Yeah. Go ahead, Lola, wrap it up. To wrap it up, you have not given up. Nope. Um, you're still putting up videos. We're doing more. We're doing way more. Yeah, we're doing yeah. more videos. We're more uh, committed to it. We're going out and doing... I think we have... So I'm going to be in Kansas in May, right? With Fort, Fort Scott, Scott mm -hmm. uh, Munitions, because I'm doing some stuff with them. They've got some cool stuff going on. And, and we're going to talk about that on the podcast. So we, yeah, we're doing everything. We're doing the podcast. We're doing Hank Strange. We're doing gun videos. We're doing van videos, too. Mm -hmm. We're all in ham radio. Lola is getting old, so she's about to retire. <laughs> you know, I'm trying to figure I, I, out. I would like to retire. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, we'll, we'll never stop working. We'll work until our last days. Our kids are in college right now, in case you don't know that. Both of our kids are in college. Yep. Hopefully, we'll get one graduated here soon, and this the other year. one has a few years. He's yeah. doing pretty, you know, it's, you know, if you guys have kids, you know how it goes. So, <laughs> one of them's really awesome. The other one, just like me, you got to get him to that finish line you got to drag him <laughs> kicking and screaming across the finish line but he's about to uh graduate that's, that's so. parenting yeah 
So we're very busy, and we I think we really, really do appreciate everyone who is still supporting us and even wondering about us and whether or not we're still out there. Um, I see it in the comments. I see people like, oh, Hank, keep making videos. Oh, you're back. Never went anywhere. Yep. Not going anywhere. Thanks to you guys for doing this. Thanks to the companies who support us. Mm -hmm. Uh, thanks to Lola and the rest of my family, our boys, for like even putting up with my crazy nonsense. Uh, you know, uh, it's this is life, right? Yep. This is this is what it's all about. So we're gonna keep fighting. Hopefully, you guys will keep fighting along with us. Yeah. Call it a wrap on this one. I agree. Make sure you check out HankStrange.com. That's the best place to go. <laughs> yeah, we're out of here. We'll see you guys in some video, some podcast, live somewhere. Yep. <laughs> we're out of here. Peace. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.